you have that ache, got a little pain, we may have the solution for you coming up here at River City Sports and Spine Specialists. You're going to find out here on this edition of Chattahoochee Connections. Ready for another great show? Oh, you got it, Melanie. And it's another great week for Chattahoochee Connections. With Bob Deslong. Well, let's roll. Let's roll. You're watching Chattahoochee Connections with Bob Jeswald, powered by Kia Autosport. The following portion of Chattahoochee Connections is sponsored by River City Sports and Spine Specialists. River City Sports and Spine Specialists, an alternative to surgery or just some aches and pains you have that could be treated right in the office and leave the same day and healing begins. And we're here right now with Dr. Gary Dawson. How are you? I'm doing well, and yourself? Great. I got to tell you something. You know, when you're talking about a new minimally invasive procedures, uh, alternative to maybe surgery, I can say I was a surgery candidate. Seriously. But I ended up doing this pr process of Regenix. What is it, and how come it works so well for some? Well, you know, Regenix uh, was a way of... Uh, looking at management of patients in a holistic fashion, where we don't treat one aspect of a problem, such as arthritis or pinched nerves, et cetera. And we focused on using the body's natural mechanism to stimulate healing. And that's through using your platelets, which are created in your bone marrow, as well as bone marrow aspirate concentrated cells that come out the bone marrow that can sort of reinvigorate or re-trigger your body's natural healing response. So just to be clear, joints in someone's body that has existing tissue would be the best alternative for this process. It would be one of the reasons why we would get it done and let it kind of regrow again. Yes, it, it stimulates your body's natural repair as well. So if you have damage to a cartilage or to an injured disc or a nerve that's inflamed, uh, creating sciatica or even uh, you know tendinitis where it's inflamed with micro tears, uh, injecting, you know, PRP or platelet-rich plasma at super concentrated levels that are specifically individualized. So it's not one dose for every problem, but it's specific to the person, the type of pathology that exists, as well as the age of the patient uh, to stimulate that in regards to looking at how we've previously treated patients, right? We've previously treated them with medications, uh, with uh, anti-inflammatories, Tylenol to relieve pain, topical creams and gels. And then we look at steroids and we've taken injectable steroids as well as injected steroids into those areas. And the use of steroids long-term has been clinically shown to actually weaken tissues and further damage the cartilage as well as can be a mechanism to stimulate uh, acceleration of arthritis. And this is why it works so well. It's amazing. And each person based on age two depends upon how much blood platelets we want to, you know, take out. We'll talk about that coming up later yes. in this, uh, this show. But, but what I find interesting that people who walk in the door, you're not someone who's going to say, I'm just going to do it and it doesn't work. It's really clear that you make sure you get the right candidate. Right. And that, that's what everything focuses on because one, the right candidate is somebody who's injured, of course, but then we have to take an other, uh, things related to that injury. It is, is something that's beyond repair, that they actually need to go to surgery. And if that's what they need, then that's our recommendation for surgery. But there's a, a gray area. There, there are minor injuries, and then there are injuries that there's tears, but that can be repaired, but they are not necessarily uh, ready for surgery. And so those are the candidates we look at. We also look at uh, patients who, their comorbidities, everything that goes along mm -hmm. with them, sure. right? Because you have other things that go along besides a musculoskeletal injury. You may be a diabetic, you may have had cancer, you may have had treatments for that. And some of those things have to be looked at carefully to ensure that you're the best candidate for this. Um, and that's how we look at it. You just don't come in and say you want it and we do yeah. it. No, we have to look at your entire medical condition. I love it. And there's somebody out there watching right now, the flow code at the bottom of your screen right now, River City Sports and Spine Specialists can actually serve you. Take a look at that. Stay with us after this commercial break because wait till you see what's coming up next. We're going to dive even deeper to find out as we get through these procedures, conditions that can be treated and so much more. And I happen to be one of them myself. So stay tuned. 
The preceding portion of Chattahoochee Connections was sponsored by River City Sports and Spine Specialists. You're watching Chattahoochee Connections with Bob Jeswald, powered by Kia Autosport. You're watching Chattahoochee Connections with Bob Jeswald, powered by Kia Autosport. The following portion of Chattahoochee Connections is sponsored by River City Sports and Spine Specialists. Now in the beautiful space that I actually had a little time in here back in uh, September of 2023 to visit Dr. Buzanowska. And, and many procedures are, are, are done here, right here on the surgery table, which seems to be a very comfortable place. What kind of uh, procedures are we doing and how are we treating these people? Who do we treat in this case? Well, yes, thank you. That's true. We do all of our interventional procedures here uh, at the surgery center. Uh, this is one of the operating rooms that we have and we do all our interventional musculoskeletal and spine procedures here. Um, so how are the procedures done? Obviously, uh, it is all interventional, so we, we do them under uh, imaging guidance that can be x-ray, fluoro, or ultrasound. Um, and uh, how exactly procedures are done depends obviously on what we're doing. So uh, we do peripheral joint injections and spinal injections, uh, the invasiveness or how what it takes to uh, accomplish that, that obviously depends on, on what exactly needs to be done. But the procedure itself, we bring the patient here, uh, we uh, sterilely prep the area that we're working on, and um, we prepare our uh, injectate, so the materials that we've collected and processed to inject. And then uh, under imaging guidance, we place it exactly where it needs to go. And this is one of the very unique things about how we do Regenics, is that we are very, very specific and accurate in targeting the problem area. Most of the time, uh, what you will get in the community is um, um, p uh, providers who do these procedures who don't have the kind of interventional uh, specialization and training as we do. So um, that's what makes us very unique, that we can uh, essentially inject almost any part of the musculoskeletal system very, very accurately targeting precisely the problem. Which is amazing. You can see even behind you too, when you do come in here, um, you can be awake for it. Um, I, those happen to be my images up there from when I came in September last year. But I was, uh, for people to understand, and it really was amazing to me, I was fully awake to watch the procedure. If you care to, you don't have to, but I, I, I was open and, and ready and, and, and got to see the injections as I got into my joints and even some of my nerve roots that have been damaged a bit because that's tissue as well. And it's remarkable. But that procedure, when it happens, what happens when it's injected? We, it, it gets a point where it encapsulates so it can heal, right? How, what is the purpose of that? That we don't want to take any NSAIDs afterwards. We want to make sure that we just do regular pain pills post-procedure because it helps to that heal. That is right. So the premise of regenerative medicine is to sort of help your body regenerate the, the issue, the problem area. Your body, somewhere along the way, failed to truly heal um, the problem. Uh, which is what our, our body does. Our body has natural abilities to heal itself, which is what happens in a lot of other conditions. You have pneumonia, your body heals it. Sometimes we help it a little bit, it heals it. Same thing here. Somewhere along the way, our body failed to heal the problem. And what we're trying to do with this procedure is essentially to restart that process. So we in, inject uh, your own body's um, natural healing mediators sort of transplant it into where the problem is and allow those natural healing mechanisms to take place. That is why we don't want to take medications that can stop that process. And anti-inflammatory medications are those kinds of medications. I appreciate you mentioned the sedation portion of this because um, that is very patient uh, dependent. Some patients 
who are very anxious about the procedure, we absolutely do offer sedation and medications to help them calm their nerves down and relax. Like but majority of our patients do very, very well with just local anesthesia. So we take a lot of time to make sure that we anesthetize the area that we're going to be injecting. And we do also take a lot of time and effort to make sure the patient is comfortable. And most, this is so simple and yeah. quick that most patients do very well without any sedatives or anesthesia or, or uh, sleep medicine. Well, I can tell you that, that's for sure. Dr. Buzanowski, we're gonna find out coming up next in Chattahoochee Connections, recovery and how long it takes. And like she said, how long can you stay away from those medicines that are anti-inflammatory? We don't wanna do that for a while because we're gonna let the inflammatory response heal you. That's coming up next. The preceding portion of Chattahoochee Connections was sponsored by River City Sports and Spine Specialists. You're watching Chattahoochee Connections with Bob Jeswald, powered by Kia Auto Sport. You're watching Chattahoochee Connections with Bob Jeswald, powered by Kia Auto Sport. The following portion of Chattahoochee Connections is sponsored by River City Sports and Spine Specialists. We welcome back now, Dr. Gary Dawson. How are you? Good. I, okay, my procedure, when we hit it down, we we're talking to Dr. Buzanowska about the procedure. You know, when we do it, it's, it's very minimally invasive. It, it's, it's not troubling. Behind me, though, I had seven joints, and including some of the injections were for my, my nerve roots, too. And uh, again, behind me, you did this, and it seems seamless to me. But for you, I guess it is too, right? Is it? Yeah, and that's the beauty of the training that, that we've had. One, after medical school, our specialized training, and then getting trained with the Interventional Orthopedic Foundation, where we specifically are trained in the procedures and techniques of injecting joints, tendons, ACL tears, discs, et cetera, using orthobiologics of the platelet-rich plasma as well as the bone marrow asterisk concentrate. And then in your case, yes, we injected the joints uh, with uh, PRP, as well as did uh, nerve injections on the nerves that were entrapped. Right through the uh, right We here. call those so transferamino epidurals. So instead of using steroids, we use platelet lysates, which are you know some of the factors that the platelets house and release uh, to help facilitate healing on your neck to alleviate the, the numbness and tingling that you're experiencing down the arm. No, so I had a, I had a, ba I had a pretty bad case. You were like, Bob, C2 to 7 was pretty wrecked up. Yes. I, you did warn me, though. You said, Bob, you know, sometimes this will be a couple months. My case, we're, we're going into six months at the time this is airing. Um, you were right. You said, Bob, so, but it can vary. You know, the, the length of time for healing could vary. What is the general time that people can have a result? And no, you do have a little pain, as Dr. Buzanowski was saying, because you have the inflammation to help it heal without st other steroids but you gave me pain pills to mitigate that yes, so right. the healing could take place. But how long does it usually take? Right, so th that varies based upon what we inject. Mm -hmm. And so in your case, if we're doing PRP, uh, that process of the remodeling aspect of stimulating your body to fix everything can take anywhere from as short as two weeks to six weeks up to three months. But when we're looking at using bone marrow aspirate concentrated cells, mm -hmm. uh, that process is a little longer. Uh, and that can be anywhere from eight weeks to, to four months. Yeah. And in some cases, uh, you have ongoing improvement, uh, but the remodeling process hasn't continued, meaning that your pain is better, you feel good, mm -hmm. but the process is still ongoing and that can go up to six months. And so what we like to do in those cases is re-image the patient to make sure that what we injected, whether or not it was a disc herniation or ACL tear or rotator cuff tear, doesn't matter. We want to re-image and take a look and see how well that joint or disc responded to the treatment we provide. It does, and it can last up to a couple of years too. In some cases, you hope it does, and, it, and that's what you really want to do. Speaking yeah. of which, people are at that flow code at the bottom of the screen are saying, Dr. Dawson, Dr. Buzanowska, how much does this cost? I'm gonna cut the chase. Does insurance cover? How does this work? Well, so there are some people who have, have work for companies that offer it as a benefit. And so okay. it could be a Blue Cross plan, et cetera, but those are called corporate patients and it, they have a special carve out for it. On the commercial plans, it's not covered yet, but there are some, some companies that are offering despite not being covered. But the majority of it can be out of pocket and there's a sub-segment of patients that is covered based upon where they work. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Dr. Dawson. We're gonna find out more about, since we're talking about that, we got Jessica coming up next. She's the one who kind of coordinates all this to get you in the clinic. Find out more next on Chattahoochee Connections. 
the preceding portion of Chattahoochee Connections was sponsored by River City Sports and Spine Specialists. You're watching Chattahoochee Connections with Bob Jeswald, powered by Kia Autosport. You're watching Chattahoochee Connections with Bob Jeswald, powered by Kia Autosport. The following portion of Chattahoochee Connections is sponsored by River City Sports and Spine Specialists. Well, welcome back to Chattahoochee Connections. Now, flow code at the bottom of the screen. By now, you're like saying, I got this ache, I got this pain. Am I a candidate? Could I come on in to River City Sports and Spine Specialists? Jessica Brady is the person who coordinates all this stuff. You did it with me and you did a great job and we know what we have to do to get through this. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about insurance with Dr. Gary Dawson beforehand. Yeah. And we know that insurance, you know, some insurances help out and even TRICARE, some of our military personnel out there may have an opportunity to come in here and use their insurance, but it's specific to particular areas of the body. Right, there are, um some, I think Dr. Dawson mentioned before, there's some corporate um, insurance companies that are covering that's independently through their corporate right. business, but typically it's a self-pay procedure. Gotcha. And when somebody calls you, or you're at the flow code right now and they're getting a hold of Jessica, mm -hmm. you answer the phone, you'll get back to them, leave a message. You're you're trying to find out, you're going to make sure that their insurance is good, you let them know where they got to go, you set an appointment up. Mm -hmm. How long does it take from the time we call, I have this ache and pain, I know the answer because I went through it, mm -hmm. to actually coming in, talking to the docs, and making sure they can get the procedure, if they qualify? Yes, if they're um, a candidate, we either way, we bring the new patient in to be evaluated for um, imaging, medical records, go over all of their past history, find out if they're a candidate. But in that first appointment, we try to bring them in one to two weeks. Okay. Our plan is one week, and um, we'll work it out with Dr. Dawson, Dr. Buzanowska to get the patient in, be seen. And then from there, if new imaging is needed, they'll send the patient out have a new MRI, new imaging of the area. They review it and then um, send me the order for the patient procedure. I call the patient back. From there, we go over pre-procedure instructions, all of the things needed for the um, payment amounts, all of the procedure um, medications that need to be stopped. And from there, we schedule the procedure. Now, I was going to uh, I was going to rehabilitation, yeah. and my rehabilitation person went ahead and told me that I should go seek out a surgeon. Um, my C two to seven is completely wrought, you know, from yeah. ice hockey years of abuse, triathlons, and, and accidents, and wrestling, and everything else. As a, as a kid, now it comes mm -hmm. back to haunt you. So I had somewhat of a referral, and I had already had some imaging done. I had an MRI. Um, I came to the table already somewhat prepared, and I knew I was going to see you. People at home, do they have to do that too? They have to make sure. Do they have to get another doctor to say, hey, yeah, come come see the folks at River City Sports and Spine Specialists with Dr. Dawson, Dr. Buzanowska? What's what's the deal? No, so you don't have to have a referral to be seen here for Regenix. Um, you can call me or text directly at 706-984-8880 or by email jbrady at rcrss.com. That'll come directly to me and then I reach out to the patient. Um, from there, there's not an actual referral needed. So the, the whole time, you know, you could be literally watching home today, you're in pain. Um, it, it's, a, it's important to note that there's, there, people are gonna find out, Jessica's gonna make sure if you could get in here, you'll mm -hmm. be seen first to see if you're even a candidate. And if you're a candidate or not, I mean, the sky's the limit is great because it's helped me. And it's so gratifying to know that if there's anything left of tissue <laughs> right. in your body, you want that. If you're bone on bone, it makes it a little trickier, but uh, there's a lot that they could do with that as well. Um, when you take that process in, you're explaining them like kind of what they would do. Cause there are mm -hmm. some areas too, we, you know, they will do, we'll do our blood draws. We'll find out everything about their medical history. So anybody watching they may say, Hi, I'm diabetic or I have some core morbidity or something. You'll go over that with them. Yes, we go over all, I do all the patient education prior to the procedure itself. Um, I give all the information of medications need to be held, the process once they come into the office, what they'll experience, and then um, post-procedure instructions as well. Wonderful. And then uh, wherever you go else from there, which is great. Um, I, I love it. So you've been doing this for how long now? I've been with Dr. Dawson for 12 years. Wow, so it's good. So you really enjoy this as well. Yeah. It opens up a whole new light for so many people. Jessica, thank you 
glad we discovered you and at home hopefully this is a, just an alternative for you if there's a surgery uh, talk to your surgeon talk to someone tell them about this and flow code at the bottom of your screen will give you an opportunity to see if you can see our folks our experts here at river city sports and spine specialists thank, thank you, so, you much. so much jessica no relation to tom are you no oh, okay so i'm not sure okay just gotta check <laughs> we'll see you next week on chattahoochee connections the preceding portion of Chattahoochee Connections was sponsored by River City Sports and Spine Specialists. You're watching Chattahoochee Connections with Bob Jeswald, powered by Kia Autosport. <laughs>